Are you goat or are you fish? I am a goat. It is a goat, it is a goat. We celebrate this goat, we celebrate this goat. They don't seem like they're celebrating very much. <laughs> it is up to you, goat. Convince them that you are a mighty goat of their verses and that any fish, that if you encounter a fish, that you will do verses for the goat. I like your attitude. And I like you, goat. <laughs> Give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Goat versus fish. A lot of people don't have that confidence, the hood spot, to stand behind those animals. What's your favorite animal, sir? Lion, I like that. You thought for a second, but you came out. Sure, goat versus fish could have gone with a lion. It's a little more masculine animal. You're digging, sure. You seem kind of cocky, like a lion, am I right? That's why you're with him, right, lady? He's a lion in the bed. Ah, hey, I'm a lion. Gets a little carried away with it sometimes. But what are you going to do? That's what you get when you date a lion. How about you, sir? You got to beat lion now. You can't take a lion twice. Never mind. All right, we'll keep moving on. You, sir, I got you in the middle of your fry. <laughs> Bear? You know what? You look like a bear when you ate that. Did you hear the way he said that, man? Bear. Bear. He looked like a bear. He actually looked like a bear. Is that good in bed? It's not as hot as the lion, I don't think. Uh, bear. Uh, bear. I don't know. I'm not, you may or may not be having relations consensual otherwise. I don't know. Uh, what? All right. By the way, I wasn't into goat. I love goat versus fish. Don't get me wrong. He's one of a fan favorite of mine. But uh, I'm also introduced as the most evil man in the world. Why? Eh, I'm pretty evil. I'm pretty evil. Well, back to you now, just real quick. What the hell did you decide to be? Rabbit. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's good because you're like, ah, yeah, you're getting a, you're getting a lot. Uh, it's a quality versus quantity issue. All right. Well, but I respect a rabbit. You know, you thought a lot about it. I think you could have done a little better. Go with a leopard or a puma, and then you go Pete Puma. She's thinking about this. She's like in her head, like, what the fuck is he? Is he? I don't think he's a rabbit. Well, what would you classify him as? Dragon. Ooh, that. See, that fucking. You can have her write your shit next time, baby. Fucking dragon. Damn. Now I want to have sex with him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm way off track. I'm, I'm way off track. I was, I was in a coffee bean in Tea Leaf recently, uh, and I noticed there was a lot of celebrities there. Uh, I, I saw uh, I saw Khloe Kardashian, you know, but uh, most of the time I see celebrities, so I was a little a little disappointed. I set up that joke wrong. Yeah, oh fuck, that was late on the R. What that? What the hell? What, what was that? Were you guys sitting in a different time zone? What the, what the fuck happened over there? It was like ah. Was it because Khloe Kardashian or your pizza was hot? I couldn't even tell. I was so off fucking tempo. That was ridiculous. You got, uh, she touched you. That's a good sign. You two together. No, oh, now fucking arm touch, buddy. That's showbiz right there. Dragon Boy. They're, they're in. This guy, he's, look, he's playing cool and fucking texting. I'm talking about how good sign is wrong, child. This guy's fucking amazing. Neil, here's a lion. Oh, he's playing hard again. You two together? Fucking get the. Come on. Get, uh, there we go. That's a nice big smile. Touch her or something. All right, way to keep going. Horrible human being, disgusting man. No, it's not. It's pretty true. <laughs> um, all right, now I got to get back to my fucking act. This is what I hate. I try and do an act because I want to be on TV, but then I swear a lot and I talk about sex, and that's uh, no one wants to see. Everyone wants to see that on TV, but not on fucking late night. All right, so let's pretend I'm, I'm coming on stage. And I'm not going to swear. Uh, I want to let you know that I have my voice is all fucked up. I want to let you know that uh, I'm going to be running for president. Uh, so I'm very thank you. Yes, Bear is behind me. Bear is 100, but that's as exciting. And Bear's girlfriend is rock star solid behind me as well. You, I don't know what you go put your glasses. You check out the material. Check out the wares, lady. Put those glasses on. Get a good look. Take it all in. That's Armani. It's not Armani. I don't think the glasses are that good. So all right. And I didn't mean that. They did look bad. I mean, they, they, they want. All right, should I do it? I should really uh, do, do do some jokes or something. I feel like I can't just do crowd work. Are y'all ready for some material? Yeah. Fuck yeah! Oh, I like that fucking line all the time. All the time, a fucking line. Uh, I named my own son Rock. But if I don't have two other children to name paper and scissors, I've ruined his life for nothing. <laughs> Thank you, Bear. Fucking love you. I took him to see a movie, Despicable Me, and on the way out of the theater, a woman asked me how long it was. I said, that's a little personal, but seven inches, you know, because seven inches. And she said, no. No, I meant the running time. I said, oh, yeah, about five minutes. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> you can explain that one if you have to. <laughs> they say there's free speech in this country. Well, good luck trying to find a skywriter to put up. Can't wait to pound that pussy. Uh, <laughs> Fine, just happy anniversary then. I guess we'll have to stick with that. It's a strong marriage. It means the same thing. I think is what I'm what I'm trying to say right there. Here's a here's a here's a marriage tip for you. The secret to a happy marriage is after a meal, never ever say to a woman, "Wow, you are hungry." That's some that's some fucking great advice right there. I hope you're all right in that town. My wife doesn't appreciate that much. She doesn't appreciate me enough, ma'am. Oh, what are you doing later? All right, so much for fucking that. They're just stunned silence. Stunned silence. Like, come on, a comedian's hitting on you and everything. It was, a, it was a moment. It was not a moment. It was like a lull. It was a fucking cliff I fell off of. Just like, and I'm doing a New York accent. All right, we're going to keep going. I swear to God, I have material. And I'm going to try and keep in character. Fucking, all right. I am a goat after all. All right, here we go. I'm going to get in the stream of consciousness and, and, and write this ship, as it were. All right, let's see what you're doing. Let me just start off like a, a, a huge... All right. Uh, I am in... Oh, I'm very evil. I don't want... Don't forget that. I am in favor of childhood obesity. Oh, that's evil. Juvenile diabetes is a small price to pay to make your child less appealing to sex offenders. <laughs> so the next time you see some family with their fat fuck kid... <laughs> Oh, wave your finger, oh, you horrible parents. Oh, you, you look them dead in the eye and say, nobody's touching that. <laughs> you must love them a great deal. You must love them with sticks of butter. <laughs> See, now that's the kind of dark shit I usually do. And half of you are on board with it because you were laughing. The other half like, what the fuck? I don't know if I can do that. I think I should be offended. Fuck you. Come on. Play along a little bit. <laughs> Mobile massage parlors are illegal. So I bought a food truck. I sell a $50 taco that comes with a hand job. The carne con mano. Or meat with hand. I have to explain it. There should be two laughs. The Mexicans in the group, the people who speak Spanish. And then everybody else later with the, the carne con mano. Um, I should also let you know, man, because you, you see me, you're low key, but I mean, I know you're not. Um, uh, Hey, I'm very good at phone sex, so we're gonna do a little role play. That's pretty exciting. Even Bear's like, oh, let's start, why not? Let's see what the fuck happens here. Just more time for me to get a French fries. All right, that's what Bear, that's what Bear's do. Eat fries and you're not looking. All right, so you're gonna say hello like we're talking on the phone. Go ahead. Sweet, but all right, let's do that again. It's funny. Like, I, even I'm hanging up, and I'm the, I'm the, the pervert. All right, come on. Uh, hell, hell, uh, now you're fucking me up. I'm ringing. Ring, ring. You, you talk now. You say hello, but it's, any enthusiasm would help. Go ahead. Why the fuck did you just do that? Why did you make a tent over your mouth? It didn't, didn't change anything at all. Go ahead, just fucking punch it. Punch it. Hello? Yeah, no, shit. I hung up. I got scared. All right, no. Go ahead. Hello. All right, one more time. Go ahead. Hello. And now I'm plowing you. <laughs> pretty good. I mean, I told you I was fucking amazing at phone sex. And that was pretty impressive. Any uh, Spanish ladies, me gustan las latinas porque son muy bonitas. ¿Dónde están las latinas? Oh, shit. Fuck, I speak Spanish. Fuck, what the hell? Are you coming on to me? No, yeah, I can fucking take lessons, you know. I'm, not, I'm no Juan Valdez or anything, you know. All right, I think I'm getting the time, but let me just do the Spanish thing. Does no one Spanish? You could be. All right, let's pretend you are, because I think you're pretty. All right, uh, go ahead and say hola. Hola. Estoy aplaudiéndote. <laughs> All right, that's my time. You take care of that dragon. All right, God bless America. I'm sorry.